Uh, when you guys were, were at Boise State, what did you do so well to, to hold them to eight points in that opener a few years ago? Well, I think it was a combination of things. You know, there was a, that was that was Coach Kelly's first game as a head coach, and there was obviously a lot of hoopla and, and uh, uh, surrounding that game. And, and uh, but more than anything, our guys just played really hard. You know, I mean, it's a, the, the one thing you can draw up a lot of different schemes, and, and I think most coaches will say this, and it boils down to your guys executing. And so, uh, what we tried to do is keep our game plan very simple. I think we called basically the same defense about 45 times in that game. There was 49 snaps, and uh, it, it wasn't any, anything that was revolutionary in terms of a blitz package or anything like that. You just got to line up and play. Are they that much more difficult to game plan and scheme for than any other team will face? Uh, I, I, I was, t I was, uh, you know, talking to Bill a moment ago, and I was comparing it really to like an Air Force type of situation because it is option football. Um, there's a lot of nuances to it. You know, Mariotti's probably a better passer than what they've had in the past, and so that that presents a new challenge. But um, the tempo is what is what probably creates more issues in terms of preparation, really, than the scheme. And and uh, they execute at such a high level. Um, it's not that they're running a lot of exotic plays. It's just they're executing really, really well, and they're doing it really, really fast. And once you get fatigued mentally you know and physically things start to start to fall apart and that's kind of what you see in the second half of the games that they've played so far this year they kind of wear teams down and they explode on teams in the second half there's a lot of talk about allowing explosives I mean obviously that's kind of what they feast on how do yeah. you make sure that they don't get carried away with well them I think that's the whole thing is that, you know you look at it I, you hit the nail on the head they feast on them and, and you know they'll kind of go you know one yard gain two yard gain six yard gain 70 yard gain and so what you've got to try to do is you got to try to limit those and you've got to make them earn it not not very many teams are going to be patient enough to just keep plugging away with the same stuff all the time and uh, usually sooner or later they have the athletes to pop it that, the, the biggest difference with Oregon right now versus maybe five six years ago is, is the speed that they have at their skill positions is just explosive. It's unbelievable. Does Coach Leach kind of picked your brain about what you guys did at Boise State, not defensively, but offensively well, that worked so good against them and maybe trying to bring some of those tricks over? I'm not sure how well it worked. We only scored two touchdowns when we played them in 09. So, uh, but uh, the, you know, Mike runs his offense. You know, I, he, he, he's not going to ask people what their opinions are. He, he knows exactly what he wants out of this group. And, and what our objective is right now is to just stay the course and, and hold our kids accountable to our standards and continue to work to perfect this system. So, um, you know, I, I don't offer much advice to Coach Leach on offensive football. <laughs> How much of a challenge is their, their tempo? Getting, getting lined up. Yeah, I think it's a big challenge. You can see, you know, we try to create as much chaos as we can in practice, but you can't simulate it because that's what those guys do, you know, from fall camp through spring ball through the entire season. So they not only do they, they get up and run plays very quickly, but they, they execute on a much higher level than we can simulate. And so uh, that's always, I think, the biggest challenge when you're playing a team like Oregon is how are you going to match the tempo? Um, how are you going to allow your kids to have a clear mind and get up and play football? I think they, they put the ball on the ground quite a few times this year. Haven't lost a ton of fumbles, but I think they lead the country in fumbles. Or in the top. I mean, how important is it to, you know, if they make that mistake to make a pay for Yeah, we've got to capitalize on that. I mean, when we have the opportunity to, to, to get a takeaway, we've got to capitalize on that. You know, I think Fresno State games are a prime example of that. They had a couple opportunities where, you know, they're just about ready to kind of inch back into the game and, and uh, the ball's on the ground and, and, and Oregon's able to fall on it and they aren't able to, to, to capitalize on those situations. So we've got to capitalize on any opportunity. We have to take, take a possession away from them.